Hello, I'm Cody Whipple with the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. Today we're joined by a very special guest, Mark Saucer. Mark is the Stream Habitat Section Chief, and in this video he's going to go over how they artificially created some of the ingredients you're looking for when you know you're at a cold, clean, healthy stream with good habitat. Thanks, Cody. I'm Mark Sauce for the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, and today we're getting right down into the stream. We're going to talk about what what we're looking for as far as good habitat. Uh, habitat could be wood in the stream, but it's also what the stream is made up of itself. And there's three different regimes that we're looking for for the stream, and that's a riffle, run, pull regime. And those aspects, the riffle is going to be generating fast moving water, oxygen getting back into the stream all on its own. That run is where fish are going to be looking for a food source for feeding purposes. And that pull regime is where they could go take a rest, kind of have a snooze just like we do in our beds at home. It's a place that they feel comfortable and especially like critical times in the summer of 2020 we're dealing with some drought stages and that's an area where that pool is going to be deeper water for them to overcome those mother nature events and those low low uh, conditions that we're going to uh, we have here right now so i'm currently standing in what we'll call a riffle uh, the riffle again is faster moving water you can see the water moving over the rocks as that water is moving over the rocks it's generating oxygen uh, we're going to have different aquatic organisms in here and just like aquatic insect species we're also worried about these guys these crayfish so that's also going to provide a food source uh, for this class a brook trout stream that we have here on little chest creek and we're going to slowly take a walk down we'll get into the run section of this stream so again the run is an area where it's not fast like that riffle you're not going to see the water moving quite as much over those rocks so it's an intermediate area of some uh, some moving water that also creates some depth and this is where those trout are going to be feeding uh, in these run sections this is where they can go in and, and catch some some aquatic life coming down through the stream so this is their feeding area this is the dinner table so to say as you could relate it back to uh, your home and we're going to head down until uh, a pool section and this pool section was created by one of our habitat devices it's a log frame cross vein and this structure is 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 built to generate pool habitat so this section of little chest creek was lacking that pool habitat and again this is a place where these fish are really utilizing this type of habitat structure right now our water is very low but with this this device it created about oh, almost a two foot hole right now and uh Maybe you could see them at home, but there was several brook trout uh, refuging in this pool as we're filming right now and walking through the stream. So the fish are here. There was no brook trout in this section previously. Now that we built the habitat, they, they showed up. Awesome. Thank you for the virtual field trip, Mark. Thank you.